Hey Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading for the month of April. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader as well as a root worker and I do monthly, mid-monthly, and occasional pick of cards here on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right on into your reading. I'm going to start off with the tea leaf oracle cards and see what messages, situations, or energy may be popping up for you for the month of April. Spirit, what messages, situations, energies do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? What messages, energies, or situations do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? All right, let's take a look at the other half of the deck. Spirit, what messages, energies, or situations do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? Hmm messages, energies, or situations do you have for my Virgos? There we go. For the month of April. All right. So you have the gavel, involvement with the law. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm using the Tarot of the Divine this month. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos for the month of April, specifically surrounding this gavel? What messages do you have for my Virgos this month regarding this gavel? All right, we have the Eight of Cups reversed, Nine of Swords judgment, Ace of Cups, Queen of Coins reversed. Interesting. Alright, take a look at where Scorpio sits in your astrological natal chart if you have it handy. That can kind of point you in the direction of where this may be happening for you. Obviously, this is going to involve the law for those of you that this is going to resonate with. But what kind of law decision will this be? That could be different for a lot of you. It could be maybe a lawsuit of some kind having to do with your job and maybe this has to do with i don't know something having to do with buying or selling a home maybe this has to do with i don't know a criminal case i'm gonna look here and see if i can figure this out but with the judgment card here it does feel like a decision is going to be made for you this month or made due to you because of you for a lot of you, this may be something that has been going on for a while. With the Eight of Cups reversed, it feels like you guys are going back to court over something. Maybe something that was started months ago, years ago. Maybe things have changed. Or maybe there's a new development. Whatever it is, it does have you very, very stressed. Um, you know, trying to understand what exactly the decision will be here with this judgment card, but the Ace of Cups is here and it feels really nice. It feels like it's working out in your favor, whatever it is. So that's good to see. The Queen of Coins reversed. For some of you, this could have to do with... Hmm. <laughs> For some of you, this could have to do with a... Hmm, a baby mama or a baby daddy. I'm getting that very much. The Queen of Coins in Reverse can talk about uh, jealousy, can talk about materialism as well. So some of you may have a baby mama or a baby daddy that's maybe a little stingy with the child support, or they want too much child support, or they just want ridiculous things out of this judgment. Um, you could be seeing some judgment not going in their favor. For some of you, this could be a job situation. Maybe there's a lawsuit being formed against your job, you're somehow involved, or you have knowledge that can help move this case forward. Maybe this is an old employer that you're being called in to testify against. Very interesting. It's gonna be a juicy one. I definitely wanna start clarifying. I wanna look at this queen of coins. And I want to take a look at the judgment because I want to see what happens. I'm so nosy. Tell me. All right, let's take a look at the Queen of Coins in reverse. Spirit, can we please clarify this Queen of Coins in reverse for my Virgos? What is this Queen of Coins in reverse for my Virgos? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Let's get the scoop. 
Queen of Wands. Oh God. <laughs> Queen of Wands, Temperance reversed, King of Cups reversed, and the Fool reversed. Okay, this just got really juicy. <laughs> All right, Virgos, for those of you where this is like um, a child support thing or like an alimony thing, maybe this is like an ex-husband, wife, whoever, I feel like your ex-person or your child's parent has someone new in their life. Mm. <laughs> oh my god okay let me get to it i can't i'm too excited this just got so juicy um you the, your person i feel is being represented by this king of cups in reverse i feel like they're very manipulative i feel like they they manipulate people around them very well like get people to feel bad for them or get people to see their side of things very easily and uh, you may have had difficulty with this person always seemingly getting what they want out of situations. Um, very, very frustrating. But what I see here is your person may have a new person in their life. And I feel like they're trying to get more out of whatever this deal is or trying not to give you as much anymore because they need to take care of their new person. Ooh. Yeah, no, <laughs> not a fan. I don't see that going well here, honestly, for them or this person. I do feel like, uh, I think the judge is going to see right through this personally. With the temperance card in reverse, this person could be a Sagittarius. Maybe your person is Sagittarius. Maybe someone here is an Aquarius with the fool card in reverse. But it feels like they are doing like everything they can to try and kick off this new relationship the best way possible and it feels like you are holding them back I mean this person is telling your ex or whoever like you know I just don't understand why you have to give them so much money or why they don't give you more money blah 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 blah, blah. like I really want to go to you know a nice vacation and like think of how much money we could save if you weren't giving so much money to this person or if they gave you more money you can spend it on me <laughs> yeah that's the energy I'm getting from this um, it's not fair it's not balanced it's selfish and I think the judge is gonna see right through that I don't think they're gonna be able to get this new judgment mm -mm. no I don't think they're gonna they're not gonna be very successful in this for those of you where this is potentially like an old job, I feel like you may have a boss, a king of cups in reverse, who's very similar to what I was saying. Like if this was a baby daddy, baby mama thing, or an ex-husband, ex-wife thing, um, you could have like an old boss, an old CEO that was very manipulative, um, you know, took a lot or did not give as much to their employees or to the system itself somehow. And I feel like this queen of wands is someone who finally decided to speak up and take action. And I think they have a really, really compelling case against this company, person, whoever, and they're calling them out on it. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could stand to benefit from it as could many other people. Um, some other people may be kind of piggybacking off of this person's uh, judgment or lawsuit. And you may have some really key information that can kind of help move this along. And I think I said that earlier. But, um, all right. I want to get into this judgment. I want to see what's going to happen. I already feel like I know what's going to happen. But I just want to, I just want extra details. I'm nosy. Spirit, can we please take a look at the judgment card? Can we clarify what this judgment card means for my Virgos? Can we please clarify this judgment card? There it is. Eight of coins. The Fool in Reverse, King of Cups reversed, and the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this person's going to be very happy. <laughs> frankly, 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 I don't think this is going to happen for them in the way that they want. So the King of Cups in Reverse is here again, looking sad, looking uh, angry, a little bitter. And with the full card in the reverse, it's like judge is saying, no, you cannot have that new thing that you're asking for. Or no, you cannot have, um, I don't know, you can't have more visitation. You can't have more whatever. 
whatever it is, it feels like this person is going to end up having to work a lot harder or work on themselves a little bit more and stop relying on other people to take care of their desires, their wants, whatever. They're like, if you want it, basically, you have to get it yourself. You can't keep taking advantage of people or you can't keep trying to get away or get out of doing things that you know are right. It's a back to the drawing board type of thing. That was the first thing that came into my head when I pulled these cards. The Two of Cups is definitely, I feel like, your energy or potentially the energy of the people who are involved in this lawsuit that have been hurt. It feels like a celebration. It feels like peace. It feels like finally there's a, a resolution to this. Like we can finally leave this behind and we can move forward happily. This could also talk about bringing more balance to the situation. Like say this is an ex-husband, ex-wife, baby daddy, baby mama type of situation. It's like bringing back that stability and balance into the relationship that should have been there from the beginning and now you finally have it in writing um, legally stating you cannot disrupt this piece. You have to stick to the terms that were agreed upon initially, which is beautiful. I think that's going to bring you a lot of peace, especially if you have kids. It's like... Uh, yeah, you get to keep that peace and, and love between you and your family. I'd love to see it. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the Oracle decks of the reading. I'm going to take a look at the Moonology Manifestation Oracle deck first. Spirit, what additional messages, um, encouragement, or advice do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? What additional advice, messages, or encouragement do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? New moon and Scorpio go deeper. Some of you guys may be scared to really talk about everything that you know. For those of you where this is like a lawsuit against a company, some of you guys may have fears about um, saying everything that you know. You may worry like, are you going to get in trouble? Or, you know, is everything that you have really going to do what it's supposed to do? in terms of making this judgment happen. Some of you guys may need to go a little bit deeper to remember certain details a little bit better and really, really assess like everything because there may be things that even you forgot about that could be really helpful as well. At the bottom of the deck, you got the full moon and Capricorn. Take a reality check. Interesting. Take a reality check. That's interesting. I feel like that message is for the other person. <laughs> the other person needs to take a reality check. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I feel like someone here needs a reality check, that's for sure. And I think they're going to get it. Yeah, take a reality check. Here it is. Here's your reality check. <laughs> oh, spirit's funny on this one. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Green Witch Oracle for additional messages, advice, and encouragement for my Virgos. Spirit, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We have the Violet Tranquility. Yeah, that was the energy I got from that Two of Cups. It's like you get like peace after this, finally. Like, that's what spirit's bringing you, like a sense of peace and uh, resolution. At the bottom of the deck, you have the chrysanthemum, and it says longevity. So this is something that is meant to last for a long time. This is a judgment that is not going to be changed for a long time. This is something that is meant to hold up in the long term, which is good. I don't see this changing for you guys anytime soon in terms of holding somebody accountable. Now we also have the messages from your animal spirit guides here. Spirit, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? What messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Virgos for the month of April? Let's take a look. Okay, we have the grouse. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. Interesting. 
Some of you guys may need to dance or do something with music to kind of shake, shake the nerves off, okay? For some of you, you guys may, that's interesting. Some of you guys may remember things better by listening to certain types of music. That is also something that is scientifically proven. Um, certain types of music help us remember things better. And if you're trying to remember certain details, you may need to kind of get out of a certain type of music that dis that feels distracting or makes you feel chaotic. That may help you guys as well. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. Interesting. Very interesting. Because I've been laughing this entire reading. <laughs> So maybe spirit is like, at the end of all this, you're going to look back on it and laugh. You're like, I cannot believe this person thought they were going to get away with this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of joy from this. So I'm hoping that this also ends up bringing you guys joy. Hopefully you guys are on the side that I think you are and you're not on, you know, that king of cups in reverse side because I feel like this is going to turn out so well for you guys at the end. All right, so final deck of the reading, we're looking at the Daily Crystal Inspiration deck. Yes, this is for additional messages, but this is also for those of you who like to work with crystals. This is a good opportunity to see what types of crystals can actually help you through the situation or through the month. Spirit, can we get some final messages, advice, and encouragement for my Virgos for the month of April? Can we get some final messages, advice, and encouragement for my Virgos for the month of April? Let's take a look. What you got? <laughs> we got pyrite. Let the money flow in. Hey now. <laughs> A judgment indeed. Some of you guys are going to be seeing some uh, financial kickbacks from this, which congratulations if that is the case. We also have pink opal. Be kind to yourself. Definitely. Don't be hard on yourselves with the nine of swords. Don't let the stress get to you. Try to remember to smile, to laugh, to um, loosen up your body as well. Let that stress melt away. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Road Knight. Find a way to forgive. And that is difficult when we are in situations like this, isn't it? A lot of heart chakra energy going on here with Road Knight and Pink Opal. So I think forgiveness and peace, allowing yourselves to have that peace. Um, once everything is said and done is going to be essential for you. Um, I'm also seeing joy, creativity, and all, obviously, I mean, shmoney coming in with this pyrite. So I think allow your, your guys' selves to um, release yourselves creativ creatively this month. That can help you as well, kind of relieve some stress. Um, I think that's going to be really important for you guys this month. So... Virgos, please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this reading. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, I do also do, I do also do, it sounds so weird. I also do personal readings. So if you want to link up with me, you can um, check out my website, which is below in the description box. And if you want to see more content from me, you can also find me on Patreon, Instagram, and TikTok, and that info is below as well. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful month of April, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!